Hey, Assalamualaikum and a good day to everyone. So today we are going to discover another uh, subchapter which is food safety, which is very essential and crucial for each of you to have that basic understanding about food safety before you get yourself into this uh, into the kitchen or operation. So it is uh, something that has been outlined by Minister of Health that all of you need to go for. Uh, food hazard training and what you are going to see today is actually adapted from the slides uh, from Ministry of Health which I hope that this information will help you to, to build your basic understanding uh, on food safety hopefully the main idea is to avoid food poisoning alright uh, <clears throat> so let's take a look uh, on this picture as you can see here uh, when we are uh, handling a food, we, yeah, of course, that people want to make profit, but again, as a uh, food handlers, we always have that kind of responsibility to make sure we always give the best quality as we can to the customer. Because if you are being uh, such a person that uh, give, uh, for example, this papaya, it if you look at this picture, it's very disgusting. But then uh, some of the some of the business uh, men uh, or food handlers they have that have the heart to just cream it and still sell it. But again, please uh, because we need, we should have this responsibility responsibility to give the best to the customer, and uh, because we, we never know that if you are uh, serving them your customer with all this. Uh, I mean, rotted, rotted uh, fruits. Uh, fruits uh, is actually can expose them to food poisoning. And please bear in mind that food poisoning can be different from one to another. It depends on on your your human system, your uh, the how how much of the how much of the bacteria goes into your body and some sort like that. So basically you are serving different types of people, different types of immune system and all. So it's very crucial for you to make sure that you maintain the quality of the food that you serve. Alright, if you can look at here, the section of raw food for wet uh, must be something that really fresh. If you look at the fish, it should be very fresh. How to distinguish uh, fresh fish and uh, not fresh is you can always look at this uh, the, uh, the eye should be some, uh, very, still still uh, shiny and then look at the scales shiny and then the uh, the flesh is still elastic okay and then you can look at the gel still uh, still red and this is what you should possess as a food handlers uh, to to know what are the uh, the characteristic of the fresh food, since uh, you are the you chose to be a food handler, you need to have the the knowledge. All right, so don't please don't ever ever put your business or your uh, company into a risk or your whoever that you are serving with this type of food. I mean, even though you can always clean it and try to use any tips or or petua petua from from local uh for local people how to make it uh still edible, but again, please uh in the end you are the one who will be responsible if anything happen to your customer. All right. So, selection for raw food dry should be something that really clean. Uh, and then it's always must be in its expiration date. So check your expiration date, check the labels. So you need to have that knowledge of reading the labels, all right, proper labeling. And uh, if you are you are a halal company, you need to look for halal halal uh, label. So these are the things that you should possess as a food handlers. You are uh, you are you are you have the responsibility to make sure that the food to serve to the customer is safe right so that it is a big no please try to get please make sure that make sure you get the proper they can 
not the dented one because it just expose your customer into trouble right to food poisoning and we don't want that so water supply and ice uh, should be something that uh, that need to be addressed which is you can always if you are be supplied by by the local uh, by the local uh, supplier uh, for example if in Sabah Sharikat uh, Bekala in Sabah it is fair enough uh, you are uh, comply with it with uh, with the food uh, regulate with the uh, what I mean you are comply with uh, what been, has been outlined by the Ministry of Health uh, in terms of water supply and uh, please ice cannot be mixed with other things you cannot stack anything on top of ice because it will contaminate your ice please store it in the cover containers individually all right this is a way of storing raw foods as you can as you all know that we have uh, three types of storage the first one is frozen or something uh, below zero degrees celsius chill will be five degrees zero to z five degrees celsius and dry should be in uh, ambient temperature so this way of storing food should be reflected in your company and you should know that how to maintain because the way you store all these things will determine the shelf life as well all right you have to take care of the environment take care of whatever that can might, might cause uh, the your food uh, getting uh, spoiled with all the for example for from the pests and or some sort like that so refrigeration if you look at this it looks very uh, very well arranged and please look at this 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 is a picture that we take it we extract out from the the the, the true space or the true story all right uh, everything is just put the uh, just put inside the refri uh, refrigerator until it not being served its purpose to refrigerate things because there is no ventilation and please bear in mind this is the formula the if you want to store foods in your refrigerator make sure that the cooked food always at the top and the raw food should be at the bottom all right because we afraid if you put the raw item at the bottom at, at the top it will contaminate your cooked food all right so storage danger zone is actually something that is a classical but always happen and this is the, the one of the main reason of food poisoning happening in our uh, country so uh, since that we are uh, in uh, in malaysia uh, we have a uh, such a humidity, uh, humid uh, weather. So always make sure that all the foods are being kept uh, below five degrees Celsius, where this is all bacteria start to hibernate. All right, and if it pass that five degrees Celsius, it start to multiply. And if you are uh, heating up your dish, your food, make sure it's past sixty degrees Celsius. Uh, so it will try to uh, destroy these bacteria up to 100 degrees celsius so the danger zone the temperature is 5 to 63 degrees celsius so please keep it in mind so this is a big no never ever store your food in this type of container which is not cold the temperature temperature is one of the most reason why food poisoning is kept keep happening in our uh, our country because it's not being maintained so the correct way uh, of handling raw foods is always always wash raw foods and then you wear gloves all right uh, if especially when you are handling raw foods that ready to eat such as salads fruits something something like that and always use separate utensils for different type of food and this is called incorrect handling of raw foods whatever that we mentioned today is something that always been done by other food handlers based on what have been uh, uh or based on the, what the investigation that been done by our ministry of health 
which is they're using the same utensil for cutting vegetables. I mean, can you imagine that? Because you usually this thing happen during peak period where they will use the same utensils to make sure that the, everything is fast and on time. But again, without we realize it, we are exposed your customer to food poisoning, and the worst thing could be happen. Your customer is being, I mean, will get diarrhea, and if there's too many cases be reported to, but since that you are served the same food, your company should might be closed, uh, and it some can be fined by the Ministry of Health. And never ever do the resort plus on the floor. Yeah, uh, you should have the dedicated, dedicated place to do your maison plus. And please use the appropriate utensils. Do not use your bare hands. I mean, to to, to touch anything that already cooked, because you you has you just try to expose your customer into the. Uh, the risk of poisoning. So let's take a look at the safe ways to defrost food. There are three types of how to defrost food. The first one, you can always use microwave. It's the most easier, but a bit expensive because since you need to buy this microwave oven, all right, uh, you, you just have to set the time and it will defrost right to the core of your products and you can ready to uh, fry it or to cook it. The second one is you can always put in the chiller, but this one needs more time. Since that you are going to use, for example, you are going to use chick, uh, frozen chicken for tomorrow's uh, operation, so you can always take it out from the from the refrigerator, uh, from the freezer, and put it in the chiller. By the right, at the, at the next morning, it can always be used, and you know what? It's the, it is much more safer because it the temperature always maintained 5 degrees Celsius and below. And the third one is always put, uh, you can always put under running water, not in soaking the water, it's supposed to be under running water. So by doing this is actually you are defrosted the, the frozen food until right to the core. So when you cook it, it's just, uh, it's safe to be, con to be consumed. And remember that cross contamination during food handling can always happen. So please bear in mind what are the things that we mentioned today is something that you should avoid. Do not mix together the operation where you, for example, whatever that I mentioned before, because it can contaminate. For example, of this cutting board, you are cutting the chicken, and then after that, you put it inside the, the container, and you take all the salads and you cut it which is being contaminated and you serve to the customer. So these are the things that you as a food editor should have the responsibility of the knowledge of how to manage things, especially in the peak hours. All right. So food preparation, please do not cook food too far ahead for a time. And it's supposed to be served within four hours and don't reheat food too many times since that it can make the food easier to get for. Other cooked food is a bit no, especially for the chicken. The chicken contains salmonella, which can always, which can give food poisoning to the person who consume it. And partially cooked eggs also uh, as well uh, can be uh, need to be uh, take uh, to be addressed. That can can lead to food poisoning. Meat that is still pink as well can for the, for some people it will make make it uh we'll we we'll make the food uh we we'll make the people get poisoned all right so like this story cooked food if you want to cook to store food in a refrigerator you can you need to always make sure that you're not putting the hot steaming uncovered food right straight away inside the the refrigerator because the heat will rise rise the uh will raise the we raise the temperature inside the refrigerator and remember this now if you press and pass five degrees Celsius the the bacteria will start to multiply so always remember 
you have to let it cool for a while and then you cover it and then you can only store it okay so packing food you need to pack food in the proper container do not do not do not put in a food wrap in newspaper just like you can see here because it's very inappropriate all right uh, because you can see the, the ink as well can contaminate the food and it is not good for your health and if you are serving a food please place the food in the covered containers Use stone when taking the food if you don't have glove and place food in cover racks with heater so the man you can maintain the temperature and it can be served more than four hours if you are maintaining the temperature. So serving food do not serve food by stacking place on top to one another. That is so so a big no to food for, for food handlers because this is one of the reasons why the the food, uh, the food poisoning keep happening in Malaysia. So do not leave food and drinks uncovered because that definitely you will attract all the pests to come and contaminate the food. And do not touch food drinks with bare hands because nobody wants to eat something that contaminated from your hands. Remember the hands should be, the hands are the main medium to transmit all this bacteria from one to another. All right. So if you want to transport the food, uh, food uh, you can always use your uh, bonded truck or you want, if you want to use car, make sure the car is purposely it's only for food uh, transportation and should be keep clean and then uh, you have to cover all the foods and uh, yeah, basically it's supposed to be uh, clean. So the, the topic of question is by the end of this topic, I hope that you'll be able to select the best raw foods prior to preparing food. Remember that everyone loves quality. Nobody does, uh, doesn't. So you need to make sure that you maintain the quality and handle food in the correct way and explain. You can explain after right after this how to handle and prepare raw foods in a clean and safe manner. And I hope you gain some knowledge towards this and this is just a basic understanding and I hope that's basic you can comply. Thank you so much.